Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have our Microsoft Edge weekly security updates rolling out. And because we are dealing with security issues, it's important to double check your browsers up to date by heading to your main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. Now, once this update has been applied, browser version in bold is sitting on version 129.0.2792.65. And that point release has been bumped up from point 52. Now, once again, Microsoft say they have fixed various bugs and performance issues, which is common. We basically get a bug and performance fix almost on a weekly basis for the Edge browser. And the security updates are exactly the same as Google Chrome. So if you missed that video, just a quick recap. We get five security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium open source project, which the browser is based on. All of them are high risk and they are addressing common exploits like Integra overflow in Skia, type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine, inappropriate implementation in V8 and use after free in Dawn. So five security fixes in total, all of those high severity security flaws that have been fixed. Now, we do get a feature update for this um, this latest point release where the Microsoft Edge sidebar has received an update with Microsoft saying that for inactive sidebar users and new Edge users, the sidebar is turned off. So that'll be a default feature now. So if you are a new user to Edge, or you don't use it, or, or you are an inactive sidebar user, as Microsoft says, this will not show by default. Now, if you want to enable it, if you do fall into one of those categories, you can just head back to your menu, settings, head over to sidebar, and you can always put it to always on, or auto hidden, or turn it off completely. So I think that's a nice move, a bit of choice does and make things a little bit more rounded when it comes to that sidebar and user choice and preference. And for active sidebar users, the current sidebar state stays the same according to Microsoft. So that's listed as a new feature. So that's what's um, new in this latest point release update, version 129.0.2792.65. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.